Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September 2015. So let's start your reading by um, the first card actually. We're gonna start with the Rebel card. This is the first card that I got for you Scorpios when I did my reading and when I first got this card I'm like, oh, a lot of you Scorpios are going to be charging ahead and doing what the you want to do okay like this is gonna be um really going with with your own um intuitive guide on what it is that you want to do like this person is holding a torch like fire so whatever you're pushing ahead to do it's like you're passionate about it you believe in it and you're breaking change just to do that you're being a rebel just to just to get your your place your own freedom um and venus goes direct in your 10th house on the six and the, the first thing that I thought was career, how you feel about yourself, your social standing, um, you're rebelling against that or you're doing something very different or something that's against what, or something that's different from what you used to do before. So, you know, it's a willpower. It's also a lot of self-control too with this card um, and you really knowing that this is what you want to do and you're controlling your own destiny with that your own destiny with that excuse me Saturn has been in your first house it's moving into your second house on the seventh on the seventeenth of this month so you've really been like really been getting molded by Saturn in terms of structuring and hard work and discipline and really trying to help you to push ahead so you can really do things that are going to really ground you to help you really learn about responsibility um, commitment, dedication, and hard work in in yourself. Um, really understanding what's what, what's worth you. What are you worth? What what value do you hold for yourself? And then you have on the thirteenth a new moon partial solar eclipse in your eleventh house of friends and groups and your hopes and wishes. So you're going to be thinking differently about the way you socialize, uh, the way that you are associated with people. Maybe you might want to start going to different groups or activities uh, in regards to um, socializing with people that, or socializing with friends more so, and thinking more about the big picture for yourself. What do you really want? Uh, and on the 17th, we have Mercury retrograding your 12th house of, the, your 12th house of undoing. And Mercury is a planet of communication in your 12th house of undoing, which is the house of secrecy, the house of addiction, the house of uh, spirituality, um, the house of how you get in your own way, Scorpio, and Mercury retrograding here. Now with Mercury retrograding, it tends to bring up past thoughts and uh, thinking about the past, thinking about a lot of things from the past and how it is that you're reevaluating more so with Mercury retrograding in your 12th house, but on a, on a subconscious level, you know what I mean? And this Mercury retrograde can bring about a lot of people from your past or different people from your past experiences, but I really encourage you to really just reflect a lot and stay, you know, don't react to anything and just kind of take everything in. The second card that I got for you, Scorpio, for this month was the Creator. When I got this card, it made me feel very empowered more in tune with oneself um this is a person that's like a natural born leader you're a scorpio you're you're the eighth house the sign of death and regeneration like if anyone can go through any highs and lows it, it you're you're born to do that that's really a part of your your makeup and the stars um and you create what it is, is that you really want so what is it that you want to create this month? You know, this Mercury retrograde is really going to have you really evaluating. This Venus retrograding had you reevaluating love and self-worth in terms of your career and just yourself and how you feel about certain things, what you bring to the table for yourself and others. And now we have Mercury retrograding in your 12th. So there's a lot of focus on how can you really change certain dynamics in your life uh, to really better suit you. And this Mercury retrograde can bring about some new, some some past lovers popping up, and you know it may bring some old feelings of love back again. So you know, be cautious of that as well. And then on the 17th, Saturn leaves your first house, goes into your second. More focus on your money um, around the 17th, and then on the 23rd, the Sun moves into your 12th house of undoing. And how it is that you get in the way of yourself again. So now we have a lot of focus on your 12th house, Scorpio. So the sun really illuminates that for you too. So there is, a, you're really wanting to change. You're really wanting to change. There's a lot of focus here on changing and trying to cut addiction, cut bad things, 
cut anything that is really not working for you right now so you can really be more focused and then we have Mars going into your 11th house on the 24th. So you're going to have the energy to socialize, the energy to be active and around and upbeat and and fun. <laughs> That's going to be good for you, Scorpio. I'm very happy for that. You guys have been last degrees, you know, of Saturn in your, in your sign have really been kicking it. <laughs> on the 25th, you have Pluto. Your ruling planet is going to go direct. And... For you, Scorpio, this really helps you focus more so on what it is that you need to do. And the third card that I got for you is a maturity card. So maturity, you're growing, you're really, really looking at things differently now. You know, like laws of attraction more so. There's a wheel here, like laws of attraction. Whatever you put out, Scorpio, you're going to get back. You have been putting out good energy. If you have been positive you'll attract that you know what i mean you're maturing but this is also a card about money concerns if a lot of you scorpios are really concerned about your money at this moment know that whatever endeavors that you're trying to get into there if there is some type of feeling of happiness in that follow that honestly i really encourage it and then the full moon totals lunar eclipse in your sixth house of work and health habits so the way that you work the job that you have the way that you take care of your body and your health that is going to definitely need a change you're, it's going to change your this full moon is bringing enough energy for you to change your job and your health routines and improve your situations in terms of your health and in terms of your work conditions so the energy is there for you this month scorpio again mercury is going to be retrograding until october the 9th so no major decisions just a lot of uh thinking and don't really go forward and make any final decisions on anything, not signing any contracts, okay? Double check your messages. Um, again, Scorpio, I'll see you next month.